What is going on everybody? Michael here. Another video. Um, in this video I'm going to be walking you guys on just how quick it, it takes me to meal prep for the next few days. Uh, what kind of foods I'm eating right now. Um, currently, if you don't know, I'm in a cut. Uh, so I'm eating at a deficit. So the most important thing when you're eating at a deficit is just eating foods that fill you up but are also low calorie. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, some meals that you can make at your house. Uh, pretty quick, pretty easy, and also they're pretty cheap too. So you don't got to spend an arm and a leg. And chances are you'll spend less money um, eating healthy than you will eating out. So we got a few things whipping up here. We got some 93.7 beef. And then over here, we just got some regular chicken. And then in the oven, uh, we got some salmon, which is uh, sizzling a little bit. I might have to flip that here soon. But yeah, so basically, um, I mix most of this stuff with this Uncle Ben's rice. And uh, this stuff is like two, two packets for four bucks or something like that. Um, so pretty cheap. And then um, also throughout the day, I just picked up this uh, Axe and Sledge. It's a uh, farm fed, just a protein. It's non-GMO or anything like that. So it's pretty good. It's chocolate milkshake flavored. And I have to say, this is like the first protein I've ever tried that um, actually tastes like what it says on the case. For those of you who know, drink protein, it's never uh, what it says. It always tastes like chalk. Uh, this stuff is actually like really sweet and really good. So I recommend that. Um, and then over here, we got some potatoes, which I usually mix in. Got some avocados right there. I eat some rice cakes. These rice cakes are super good. They got the apple cinnamon. Um, and then uh, sometimes with the rice cakes, I uh, got some almond butter for that, which I showed you guys in a previous video. But uh, I'm going to be getting all of these in uh, Tupperware and uh, weighed out on my scale and everything. So I'll walk you guys through that. All right, so I got um, all my meals on here. So the beef is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see. We got 93.7, 6.5 ounces, and I'm gonna be mixing that with brown rice and asparagus. So I got the uh, Tupperware on the scale. I'm gonna go ahead and put 6.5 ounces in there. All right, so kind of just. Got it on grams, adjusted over. And this should be two servings worth, so 13 ounces total. Oh god. Drop it on the floor. Hey, we got that five second rule, so. <laughs> All good. Uh, six, and then just a little bit more. Boom. There's that. We are at 6.7, so I'll kind of just take a little piece out just to. Kind of accurate. 6.6, .6, that's good. Um, I don't get too serious with it. I'm not like prepping for a show or anything, so it doesn't really matter that much. All right, Uncle Ben's, I got it cracked, and then just throw these bad boys in the microwave. I just put two in at the same time, and then put that in for uh, 2.30. And that's done. Measure it out. I believe uh, with the beef we put, it said 200 grams. 200 grams of rice or 210. Um, it said brown rice. I just use white rice. I prefer white rice over brown rice. There's really not that uh, big of a difference. So. Hey, say what up, bro? <laughs> All right, pulled the mice. The mice pulled the rice out of the microwave. Go ahead and uh, zero the scale out. Maybe. Oh, just turn it off. Jeez. All right, here we go. So it zeroed out, and it was actually 200 grams, so this is kind of hot, but I'm just gonna pour this on here. So you guys can see it's on ounces. Hold up, switch the units. There we go. Boom, boom. Keep going to, oh, we got a big clump coming out, so that kind of sucks. It's gonna be over. Oh, perfect, bro. Couldn't get any better than that. So that's that. I'll do the same to that, and then I will show you guys um, what I do with the chicken and the salmon. Is that right? Man, you're a funny guy. <laughs> all right, so now we got my roommate John taking up all the room on the oven. Your roommate? Yeah. You're my roommate. Nah, he's my roommate. He's just jealous. Oh, yeah. Taking up all the room, cooking up some freaking nasty beef while I'm trying to make my chicken. What are you trying to make, bro? You started off eating beef. What are you trying to make? 
I take beef, rice, eggs, and diced potatoes, and I mix it all together. Alright, so I'm going to peep the salmon real quick. Oh, it's getting crispy. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but... Camera Smells camera. like it just came out of the ocean. Yeah, that's how I like it. Um, yeah, I like to cook my chicken pretty well. You know, you don't want any pink in the middle, obviously, but I kind of like it, like, well done. Um, and then, again, we're going to go with the rice with the chicken. Ah, shit. All right, so we got the chicken out, and I'm going to be adding 210 grams of ch uh, of rice to the chicken. So I'm going to be doing that, and then we're going to whip up the salmon real quick. With the salmon, I just cook it with some uh, potatoes. And I'm going to lay out all the meals for you guys, and we can just see uh, what it's all looking like. How much it costs, stuff like that. So, this is what I wish I was eating, but oh my god, you, the, yeah. you put the whole bag of cheese in that thing, yeah, bro. All right, just pulled out the salmon. Um, haven't really cooked salmon that much, but I do know one thing that you do not want it to be raw. So, I'm gonna give a little forky fork right here. Ooh, that broke off nice and smooth. Actually, I'm gonna actually cut it with the knife just to kind of see what it's looking like in the middle. Oh. This is kind of hard to do with the camera in your hand. I'm not actually this bad at cutting. Oh, um, I mean that looks pretty good. It's literally that looks pretty good. Um, I know with salmon you kind of want it to like break off in pieces like that. It's not super pink in the middle, um, so I think that's good. I put on like 415 um, for like 20 minutes. All right, we got the salmon out. Got that measured, seven ounces in each container. Now we're gonna go ahead with the potato. And I'm going to show you guys how I prep the potato before I uh, put it in the microwave. Alright, first things first, wash the potato off. You never know whose dirty hands, whose coronavirus hands could have been handling your potato. So, you always want to wash it off first. And then now, you want to just repeatedly stab it. Alright, so after you repeatedly stab it, um, get a paper towel, get the paper towel wet, and then wrap it around the uh, potato. And then I'll go ahead and stick this in the microwave. And then I just put it in there for like 5.30 and that usually gets it done. So. You don't put it on a plate, you just throw the potato in there wrapped in a paper towel? Yep. 